Do you know what I mean? If you want luscious looks like this, then just keep watching. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. If we haven't met already, then I'm Sonia. Today, I am going to be filming my hair care routine, as you can obviously tell from the title. So, if you wanna have silky smooth, wow, is she a Victoria's Secret model hair? then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna dive straight in. In terms of haircuts, I don't really get them, to be honest. I mean, I cut myself this little fringe type thing here during lockdown um, and it went okay, it went okay. Um, yeah, in terms of the ends of my hair, I've only ever really had block cuts, so my hair is just all one length. I don't really have, I don't have any layers really. I just like my hair to be all one length, basically like a block cut. Let's dive right in and let's begin. So I'm just gonna take you through step by step of what I do. So in terms of shampoo and conditioner, I don't really use anything that, that upmarket, that like expensive. I just use the Herbal Essences Dazzling Shine Shampoo and Conditioner. I love shine in my hair. I love having like glossy, shiny hair. I just think it looks just so nice. Obviously, you've got to be careful because it can edge into wet hair. Do you look greasy? You've got to have shine in moderation. But anyway, so I like to start off my base with the Herbal Essences Shampoo and Conditioner. I am so particular about my shampoo because I have to have a shampoo that actually makes my hair squeak when I'm in the shower. Like say if I'm washing my hair, minding my own business, having my own concert, and my hair doesn't squeak at the top, then I know that it's not clean. And I know when I come out of the shower, blow dry it, whatever, it will like still be like greasy i don't know if it's good or bad to be honest but this one makes my hair squeak at the top like you gotta press hard and it goes and then i know it's clean it's very bizarre very strange but anyway next product Ow. Bloody hell. okay for hair masks when i'm in the shower or the bath i've got two so i use the i don't know how to pronounce this biolage Hydrosource hair mask with aloe vera for dry hair. I got this one from Beauty Bay. I will link all of them down below if you want to check them out. This one smells like a hairdresser's. I don't know why the hair masks that um, are used that are hairdressers just smell just different. They just smell like, oh my God, like just so luxurious and just so nice. So you know that hairdresser smell, that fantastic like luxurious hairdresser smell? This one smells like that. Honestly, the first time I used it, I was like, wow. It just smells so good, look. This one I really like, it's got aloe vera in and it leaves my hair feeling really soft. With hair masks, I don't put them all the way to the root. I just put them in the lower portion of my hair obviously otherwise my hair just becomes too weighted and just greasy and that's just not appealing to be honest the second hair mask that i use is the natural origin hair food papaya and alma so this one was about five pounds um ish i think so i'll link it down below but yeah this one This one smells great as well. Ah! You can use this hair mask in three different ways. So it says on the back, you can use it as a conditioner, you can use it as a mask, or you can use it as a leave-in on dry hair. Personally, no. Personally, option three is just a, mm -mm, no thank you for me. I just wouldn't be able to do that. But it depends what kind of hair you've got. It says option three. As a leave-in on wet or dry hair, apply a small amount to lengths and reduce the appearance of split ends and leaving hair irresistibly soft. Do you mean dripping wet and greasy and like you've got a bottle of olive oil in your hair? 
then do number three. So I don't use hair masks every single time that I have a bath or a shower. I only use hair masks about once a week because to be honest, I only really wash my hair twice a week, max, because my hair doesn't need it. I feel like the more I wash my hair, the more greasier it becomes more often, basically. So I've like trained my hair to like remain looking fresh for longer. If you wash your hair too often, it like strips the natural oils at the root of your scalp. And, and so your skin has to naturally overproduce oils. So your hair becomes greasier quicker. So that's why when you get into a routine and I've had friends where they say, I have to wash my hair every day, otherwise it gets greasy. No, you need to stop washing your hair just for one week. Just for just stop. If you wash your hair every single day, let it go three days, then wash your hair, then let it go three days and wash your hair. You have to just train your hair because your head is so used to overproducing extra oils because you're stripping it every single day so stop moving on so when i get out the shower and i dry my hair then i like to put an oil through it before i brush it just to make it a bit easier because honestly there's a syndrome called like un unbrushable hair like undetanglable hair something like you can't you can't brush the hair honestly as a kid i basically had that because my auntie's a hairdresser stop rumbling no it's fine you can it's your channel so <laughs> so um yeah so as a kid my auntie who was a hairdresser cut my hair and she sectioned my hair put it on the top, as she cut the bottom layer and then pulled the other layer down, it was already completely tangled. And she was like, what the hell? Like my hair just gets tangled so easily. But now as I've got older, it's much better now to be fair. I've got like normal hair now, so it's fine. Anyway, so that's just a lovely childhood hair story for you. Anyway, so when I get out the shower, I like to put an oil through it. So the oil that I have been using recently is the label m professional hair care therapy rejuvenating radiance oil and it was the london fashion week official hair care product wow thanks so i literally only use about one pump of this and just run it in like the very ends of my hair and then brush it through and this oil doesn't leave my hair feeling weighted looking a bit wet like this is a good oil the next oil that i use is the argan oil hair treatment with moroccan argan oil extract i'm sure you guys have seen this one around already but to be honest this one is just too weighted for my hair it's too weighted for my hair so what i do with this one is i use this as like a pre-shower hair mask so i just put this on my dry hair wait for a bit and then shower so i don't use this after the shower i use this before so it's like a hair mask basically it's just because i remember using it once and it just left my hair looking greasy and i was like this isn't on hun this isn't on also just quickly i purchased these argan oil hair treatments they are intensive hydrating treatment shots they're kind of like an oil hair mask basically that you use in the shower or the bath now that the hair is damp and got my oils in i then use a heat protectant the one that i use the most and have been using for years is the tresemme care and protect heat defense styling spray I love this one. This one leaves your hair shiny and smooth. This heat protect, even if it wasn't a heat protectant, I would use this just as a smoothing and shining spray, whatever. Because look, it says here at the bottom, protects and seals in shine. Sold. The minute you say shine, I'm there. I'm done. This one is great, honestly great thank you for inventing this the next one that i have is the tony and guy heat protectant mist so i got this one in a set so i think it came with little bottles of shampoo and whatever basically 
but if I had to choose between these two to recommend to you, I would choose this one just because this one leaves your hair so, so silky and smooth. Like, honestly, I love this. I love this. Right, then after I blow dry my hair and straighten it or curl it or whatever I'm going to do with it, I then go in with my brand new purchase of the VO5 Natural Shine Spray. So it says it's an ultra light spray, leaving your hair glossy and silky, no stickiness and keeps the hair's natural movement. Honestly, I mean, I've already got a little bit on. Can you just see there's a little bit of, there's, there's some shine in the hair, right? Let's just shake this baby up and add some more. Hopefully you can see on camera. Hairspray. Right, okay, anyway. I don't know if you can actually see on camera, but my hair is looking really glossy and shiny. I'm in love. So I'm just gonna add more because why not? Thanks. And the last thing I do, dependent on what style I'm wearing my hair in. So if I've got my hair down and straight, I wouldn't use this. But if I've got my hair up or curly, whatever, then I'll go in with the VO5 Invisible Extra Firm Hold Hairspray. And this one is coconut fragranced, which I love. So let's just... This one smells great. I just love the smell of hairspray. I'm just someone that loves the smell of hairspray. That's like strange. That's like a strange thing. Like people that like the smell of like petrol or something like that or glue. <laughs> okay, so that is the end of the hair care routine. I hope that you enjoyed my video. Hopefully you took inspiration from some of the products. I, if I was to recommend one of the products, I would say this one and this one. These work fantastically together and it will just leave your hair so, so smooth and just luxurious. Like, honestly, I once got my hair cut and straightened at a hairdresser's and I normally have like a curly blow, right? Even though it's not really a curly blow because it drops out before you've left the chair but whatever. So once I had my hair straightened and I've been trying to reenact that same silkiness and smoothness in my hair. Just don't know what they use. But anyway, this is what I use. So yeah, thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hope you're all having a wonderful week. Hope you're all okay. If you made it to the end, then thank you. Ugh, look at all that hair. Gross, lol, I need to clean that. Need to clean that. Anyway, if you have made it this far in the video, then please leave me the, what emoji? The nails emoji, you know that? And I will say, you're a real one. She's a real one. He's a real one, okay? I will see you all again soon for another video. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, bye.